Today we're going to take a closer look into the thermals of the Loki Ghost S1. There's no denying that if you want the best thermals in this case, you should definitely go with water cooling. If you haven't seen my last video where I built in this case, make sure you check it out as it is informative on the ins and outs of this case. Now there are plenty 240mm AIO water coolers on the market nowadays, but I personally chose the NZXT Kraken X52. Overall this water cooler was great besides the time where my pump broke after only a year of use. Luckily NZXT gives a generous 6 year warranty which allowed me to RMA my broken one. For US based companies all water coolers use Asetek hardware anyways so personally it's all about looks and fan performance at the end of the day. In order to install a 240mm AIO in the Loki Ghost S1 you do need the large top hat. Loki gives us the option of either installing the top hat in the bottom position or the top position. In my opinion, I like the top position better, but some do prefer the bottom. Today we'll be testing both configurations with my overclocked 8700K running all cores at 4.7GHz. Naturally the 8700K does run hot if it wasn't deleted, which mine isn't, so definitely keep that in mind. Now when installing the top hat on the bottom, there are a couple things to keep in mind. For one, you will lose the ability to use that 2.5 inch hard drive mounting bracket because the bottom panel will now be used to cover the top hat where the radiator sits. You will also lose the ability to lock down the side panels as before those screws were installed through the bottom panel. Another thing to mention is that I did have a defect in my case where they forgot to put a thread insert on the top hat, not allowing me to use all four screws to secure the bottom panel. It really does feel like Loki expected users to use that top hat in the top position, but it is nice to see that the bottom option is still there. When it comes to the thermals, the bottom position definitely runs hotter. This makes sense though, as the fans are practically starving for air since the space underneath the case isn't that big to begin with. The best configuration in terms of thermals would be the top position, with the fans installed to pull air through the radiator. It is good to mention though that the difference between the fans and the pull or push position isn't that big anyways. Ironically though, there is significantly less noise when the fans are in the pull position. Installing the AIO in the bottom position was seriously a pain. The tubes have to be run where the cables connect to the power supply, making it nearly impossible to bolt everything down nicely. Now this could be easily solved if I had custom cables with the right length, not forcing me to store the extra cable length underneath the power supply. Also, in my case, losing that 2.5 inch SSD mount means that I either lose my SSD drive or I have it floating around wherever I find empty space inside the case. Overall, I'm personally going to stick with the top position in the push configuration. I originally built the Loki Ghost S1 with this configuration and everything just fit nice and snug. Although going with an air cooler would have kept the size down, I couldn't convince myself to run an already hot CPU with such a small cooler. I also couldn't find the best air cooler for this case, which is the Noctua L12, as it is now discontinued. Again, if you haven't seen my last video where I built in this case, make sure you check it out. As always, thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing.